always wondering about leadership. So I had a talk with Mayor Gordon Krantz. He's the mayor of Milton, Ontario, and the longest serving mayor in the province. Boom. <laughs> When you were first elected, like ever. Mm-hmm. 1965. Yeah, 1965. In the 60s? Yep. Wow, cool. That's, my math is right now, that's what, 53 years ago now? Mm -hmm. So when you were first elected, how did you feel? Overwhelmed, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, I could just feel that responsibility because then I had to produce. I had to be a leader. Keeping in mind that I was married at the time, I had two young children, I have a son and a daughter, and a young family man. And we were running, my wife and I were running a reasonably successful business, an oil business. I was in the oil business for a number of years. So not only running a business, but then being thrown in to run a, a town at that time of roughly 5,000 people. Uh, a lot of responsibility lies on you, making hopefully the right decisions. Uh, it can be a daunting thing and you had to take it serious. Uh, and I did. What makes a good leader? In my opinion, what makes a good leader is an individual that's not afraid to get out of that proverbial box, as people will call it, and do things just a little wee bit different than the, the average. A leader has to take some of those risks from time to time, and sometimes you will fail, but that's also a sign of a good leader. Uh, so if you're looking for success all the time, it will not happen. So you have to be... Uh, used to criticism. If you're going to be a successful leader, get used to it because it's going to come your way. Next question. <laughs> what should a leader be responsible for? Like, are you only responsible for paying people or what are you responsible for? No, uh, a good leader, in my opinion, you, you kind of set the agenda. You have a vision and of course you attempt to follow that vision and of course you're going to be a leader what you should do is get the people that you work with, not the people that work for you, the people that you work with. Like I have two assistants. Those assistants, they help me. They don't work for me, we work together. So that's a sign of a good leader. How do you choose a good leader? There is no template for a uh, good leader. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, it's, it's to some degree a popularity contest. You could be as dumb as a fence post and still get elected. And that does happen from time to time, I'm sure of that. But you know, I got the, the greatest confidence in the average individual that's out there to vote for their leaders. And we're talking about leaders now as being elected at, in a democratic uh, society, such as we have certainly here in Canada. What made you want to become a leader? Well, I don't think there was really anything that wanted me uh, to become a, a leader. And I've told this story, Ruby, more than once, and it's true. Uh, a lot of us, including myself, would criticize what elected people were doing. And believe it or not, I was in a barber shop complaining about what the elected people were doing or not doing. So somebody had enough nerve to say, well, Gord, if you think you can do any better, why don't you run? And try and change things for the better. Try and do it. Step up. Because it's tough to be a leader. You know what? That person was absolutely right. That's how I got involved. Did I ever want to be an elected person? No. But I took the challenge when somebody said, if you think you can do it any better. How do you stand wearing these jackets all day? This is really hot. As a matter of fact, you know, uh, you might not have noticed I come into uh, this interview carrying my jacket, as a matter of fact. And, you know, it... <laughs> You know, I'm one of those individuals that I have my grubbies that I wear around the house and I'm a gardener and I do all my thing, but there's a professional side of an individual like me as well. So not only acting professional, but looking professional is fairly important too because I hold a very important office. Thank you for talking with me. Uh, you give you. me a lot to think about. Oh, uh, I bet you I have, yeah. If you've been wondering too, subscribe for more big questions.